and yesterday, Blunts, a popular pseudonymous crypto analyst and influencer known for accurately predicting Bitcoin's 2018 bear market bottom, shared an optimistic outlook for Solana, an Ethereum challenger that has a significant following on social media, believes that Solana's impressive rally this year is far from over and could reach new all-time highs. Uh, Blunts observes that Sol, the native token of Solana, is still 113% away from its all-time high and criticizes the tendency of some traders to call market tops prematurely. He encourages investors to buy dips in Sol, predicting a potential surge to $400, a significant increase from its current levels. Blunts emphasizes the long-term gains over short-term fluctuations suggesting that those who consistently support the uptrend will be renewed more than, than those who may profit from short-term downturns. And then Blunts' technical analysis. Low time frame charts Blunts examines Solana's short-term price movements by looking at charts with lower time intervals. This approach helps identify immediate trends and potential short-term price actions. And what's uh, Elliott Wave theory? His theory is a method of technical analysis that attempts to predict future price movements based on crowd psychology, which often manifests in identifiable patterns or waves. According to this theory, a bullish asset typically experiences a five-wave uptrend followed by an ABC correction, a three-wave pattern, before the next upward movement. And that is that the recommend pairs and allies in the minute that the business kind of do. And so if I do that to... Uh, U.S. dollar was a dollar, well, both pairings. Uh, uh, based on his analysis, Blunts believes Solana is set for another leg up in its price against both the U.S. dollar and Bitcoin. He interprets the recent 12% dip in Solana's value as part of a larger uptrend, advising against betting against this trend. His analysis of the SLL-USD pair indicates that Solana is positioned for a rally after completing it's ABC correction phase. Uh, here's a breakdown of the ABC correction phase. It's not knowing wave. Um, this is the first wave in the correction phase uh, where the, the price starts to move against the trend of the previous uh, larger wave. Uh, for instance, uh, the market was previously in an uptrend. Uh, the uh, A wave would be uh, a downward movement. Okay. Um, following the A wave, the B wave is a partial retracement or correction of the A wave. It moves in the opposite direction of the A wave, uh, but typically does not reach the starting point of the A wave. In our example, this would be uh, a slight upward movement following the initial downward trend. And what they required, C wave, the... Um, the C wave is the final part of the correction phase um, where the price moves again in the same direction as the A wave, often uh, surpassing the end of the A wave. Continuing the example, this would be another downward movement, potentially going lower uh, than the end of the A wave. Um, the uh, ABC correction phase is a counter trend move within a larger trend. Uh, in Elliott Wave Theory, uh, after the completion of an ABC correction, the price is expected to resume in the main trend. This pattern is used by traders and analysts to predict potential price movements and make trading decisions. Uh, at the time of writing, SOL is trading at around $114.66, uh, down 7.83% in the past 24-hour period. Um, on 27 October 2023, Vanek, a global asset management company, published a blog post analyzing the future value prospects of Solana's native token, SOL. The firm projected 2030 the value of SOL could either soar to $3211 or plummet to as low as $9.81. And the post, Vanek highlighted the critical role of smart contract platforms, SCPs, and driving decentralized applications, pointing out the current modest user base of blockchain platforms in comparison to mainstream online services. The firm posited that for blockchain to gain widespread adoption, 
it must broaden its applications beyond just financial transactions. Vanna commended Solana for its commitment to scalability and efficiency, noting its focus on technological advancement rather than short-term solutions. The firm underscored Solana's rapid data processing and high transaction capacity as key contributors to its efficiency. Uh, Vanek argued that for a blockchain to facilitate major future applications, it needs to excel in speed, ease of use, and accessibility. Uh, in this regard, Solana's capabilities make it with a strong contender for hosting groundbreaking future applications. However, Vanek also pointed to financial hurdles facing Solana, observing that its blockchain maintenance costs currently exceed its revenue. The firm emphasized the necessity for Solana to achieve a sustainable balance between its security expenditures and its income. And the blog contrasted Solana's integrated high-throughput system with Ethereum's modular approach to blockchain development, a distinction that could influence their respective market shares. Uh, Van Eck noted the challenges posed by Solana's intricate architecture and the need for Rust programming skills, which might be daunting for developers. Nonetheless, Solana has maintained a steady number of active developers, essential for its continued success. Uh, the firm also discussed uh, potential revenue streams for Solana, such as transaction fees and minor extractable value, uh, suggesting that Solana could adjust its pricing strategies to better capture value. Uh, in conclusion, while acknowledging the risks associated with Solana, including its experimental technology and stability issues, the NX sees considerable, considerable growth potential for Solana, deeming it an asset worth considering over four investment portfolios.